2023, Year of Divine Possibilities. Keep the faith. Hallelujah. 2023, our year of divine possibilities. Amen. I believe so strongly that as God takes us to next levels, divine possibilities become our portion. And we are standing this year on Luke 1, verse 37. Luke 1, verse number 37. Shall we read it together? For with God, nothing will be impossible. With God, nothing will be impossible. Two scriptures were impressed on my heart as I waited on the Lord for 2023. The scripture, Luke 1, verse 37, and Daniel 11, verse number 32. And these scriptures we will stand on this year. Let's look at Daniel chapter number 11 and verse number 32. Daniel 11 and verse number 32. The Bible reads that those that know their God, they shall be strong. Let's read it together. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. That's the enemy. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Beloved, there is nothing impossible with God. What seemed impossible in life will become possible. We were hearing testimonies here about how things looked impossible and God turned it around. Beloved, those that are strong in God will enter their season. They will enter every door that God opens for them. Amen. Amen. And so, uh, looking at this year, 2023, I'd like us to look at the scripture, Luke chapter 1 verse 37. And I'll be speaking on a subject I've entitled today, 2023, our year of divine possibilities. And we will continue on this early uh, this morning today. Or later, rather, this morning today. I've not spoken for a few months. My throat is, 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 is surprised. So pray for my throat. Amen. I, I think I was singing for so long and now it's cracking. The Bible reads in uh, Luke chapter 1, verse number 37. Let's put it up again. Luke 1, verse number 37. The Bible reads, For with God, nothing will be impossible. I'd like you to look at this scripture and let's break it down for a minute. Number one, the Bible says they are with God. With God. Somebody say with God. See, divine possibilities, beloved, happen within the realm of God. With wherever God is. When we step away from uh, that canopy, we were uh, singing just after we crossed over about being under the canopy. Of God. When we step away from the canopy of God, it negates the possibilities of God in our lives. Amen. So, in other words, what is divinely possible is that which God backs. If God is not backing it, not any idea, not any desire of yours that you have, it is that which God has backed that will be possible for you. See, we can either do life with God or without God. The choice is ours. You see, when you are with God, God will speak to you. God will release his divine instructions to you. And it is those instructions that God will honor. God will honor those. In 2 Samuel chapter number 5 and verse number 10. 2 Samuel chapter 5 and verse number 10, the Bible reads that David waxed strong. David became great. Why? Because the Lord God of hosts was with him. Amen. If I were you, I would remove, remove David's name from there and put my name. And Consana went on and became great. 
And the Lord God of hosts was with him. So place your name there. And begin to declare that you will work great because God is with you. Beloved, with God, all things are possible. When we look back at Luke chapter number 1 and verse number 37, in Luke 1 and verse number 37, the Bible says nothing will be impossible. What is it that will be impossible? It, nothing will be impossible. Beloved, all the Bible is saying that, and the word is saying that the words that God speaks we will not fail to manifest. The words that God utters, the utterances of God, the rhema of God in your life will not fail. In Isaiah chapter 55, Isaiah 55 and in verse number 11, we can start it from verse number 10. Isaiah 55 from verse number 10 to verse number 11, the Bible reads, As for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there. Can you bring this down for me? But water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. I think I'm speaking so loudly and this is loud. So maybe bring down the microphone since I can't bring down my, <coughs> my natural microphone. Verse number 11, the Bible reads, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The proceeding word of God concerning your life we will not go back to God empty. When God releases a word, there must be a performance of the word. In Numbers chapter 23 and verse number 19, the prophet Balak, he says, this God, when he blesses, he does not change. He says, have I not said it? Will I not do it? God is not a man. That he should lie. He's not human to tell a lie. Nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good? So the question now is in 2023. What you are holding on to. What you are standing on to. Is it what God has said? Or is it what you think he has said? There's two different things there. Many of us, we run with what we think God has said and not what he has said. So it becomes critical in 2023 to have a clear understanding or a clear uh, uh, hearing or listening of what God is saying. Because God is not a man that he should change his mind. God is not a man that he should tell a lie. He's not going to tell a lie, beloved. So we have to ask ourselves, is what we are believing for, is it in God's will? See, God's will is primarily revealed through his word and by his Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 9 and verse number 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 9, let's read together. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But many of us, we stop right there. I has not seen, ear has not heard. But the key, beloved, is verse number 10. Verse number 10 says, but God. Somebody say, but God. But God has revealed them to us through the Spirit. Through His Spirit. So, the things that God has prepared, He reveals them to His children. He reveals them by His Spirit. So, beloved, understand that everything that God has willed for you and I is in His Word 
and he reveals them to us by his spirit. The challenge we have is that we hear from many spirits and we say God has said. So we now need to go beyond the many spirits that are speaking and locate the voice of God. Turn to your neighbor and tell them it's time to locate the voice of God. Look at them very, very well and tell them 2023, locate the voice of God. You see, there is a scripture that's dropping into my spirit. I forget where it is. Media can find it. The Bible says there is noise from the city and a voice from the temple. Many of us are busy with the noise that is happening around. And we are missing the voice that comes forth from the temple. Find me that scripture quickly and put it up. Noise from the city, a voice from the temple. This year, locate the voice of God. Locate the voice of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Locate the voice of God. So four things. Oh, there we go. Isaiah 66 and verse number 6. The Bible reads, the sound of noise from the city. A voice from where? From the temple. And that voice is the voice of the Lord. So this year, beloved, four things. Four things. I think I've calibrated, Brother Paul, I've finally calibrated here so we can pump this up a little bit. Hallelujah. Don't laugh at me, oh. Wait until you, yeah, in my shoes. the people that sing now, they don't just come and pick up the microphone. They have to find their range. <laughs> Amen. So, this year, beloved, if we are going to see God's divine possibilities, four key things I'd like us to focus on this year as our guiding word. Number one, become a God chaser. Become a God chaser. We, the first song, I think there was a second song that the praise team sang, was talking about chasing after who? After God. I said to myself, wow, they are so prophetic. They never saw my notes. But they began to prophesy that it's time to chase after God. Become a God chaser this year. In Psalm 27 and verse number 4. Psalm 27 and verse number 4. The Bible reads verse 4 and 5. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Amen. Beloved, there must be a relentless pursuit of God in your life this year. There are shakings that are coming that we are going to see. And it is only those who are anchored in God who will withstand the storms and will even flourish. We are living in a world that is becoming more godless by the day. We are living in a world every time there is a research happening, there is less and less of a godly society in the United States. Yes, people are still being born again. But the people that are moving away from God are far much more than the people that are coming to God. In fact, recent research suggests that the fear of God is becoming almost non-existent in the general populace of this nation. Beloved, some of the marks when you look through civilization, when you look at the Greek civilization, Roman civilization, all the civilizations that come down, 
You see, the last mark before the breaking down of, of an empire is a total loss of the fear of God. So, be careful, beloved, what we consider progress because anything devoid of the fear of God is a possible sign that we are moving towards a total godless society and the breakdown of current empires. But the Bible always says that there is always a remnant in any polluted society. But it is only the remnant that has a relentless pursuit for God. Become a God chaser. Daniel lived in Babylon, but Babylon was not in Daniel. Daniel moved in the corridors of power that were run by civilizations that were not godly. But Daniel carried the God, Jehovah, in him and served three kingdoms. Joseph was in Egypt, but Egypt was not in Joseph. What about you? What about I? We must become God chasers, beloved. In Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse number 13, the Bible tells us that you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. With all your heart, you will seek me and you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. It's time, beloved, to seek the Lord. It's time to seek him like never before. Turn to, to your neighbor and tell them it's time to seek the Lord like never before. And look at them again nicely and just say, it's not just a cliche. This is serious business. It's serious business, beloved. Number one, become a God chaser. I remember reading a book and I said to myself, the Lord gave me this word, become a God chaser. And I started saying, I remember many years ago, the, there was a book I read, it was called The God Chasers by Tommy Tenney. And I said to myself, um, this evening, I said, I need to go back and look for it. I know I had a copy, but if I can't find it, I must buy it. But that book literally gave me a, it changed some perspectives of me and gave me such a hunger and a heart to chase after God. Number two, it's time to increase our faith. Amen. Because you cannot step into divine possibilities without a level of faith. Because you see, everything in the kingdom of God is accessed by faith. Now, there are two dimensions of faith. There is faith the belief and faith the action. Now, many of us, we have faith the belief. Uh, we all have a level of belief. There is, there, is all, there is a level, we all have some faith. But the Bible tells us that faith without action is dead. It is as if you don't have any faith. Now, the interesting thing is, many times we think that we need a lot of faith. We need a lot of faith to do exploits. But, you know, the Lord Jesus... He, 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 asked, he, he surprised me with the answer that he gave the disciples in Luke chapter 17. Luke 17, verse number 5. Verse number 5 and 6. This is what they, they asked. In the, in the, it, it, this is what they asked him. In the amplified, let's look at it in the amplified version. The just AMP, the amplified. The Bible says, Let's just look for it. Let's read it in the AMP. The Bible reads, Amplified. We don't have it? Okay, fine. We'll read this one. The Bible reads, The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. What is faith? That trust and confidence that spring from our belief in God. So it says, Increase it, Lord. Increase that trust and that confidence that we have. And now, the interesting thing is the answer that the Lord gave. The Lord said, if you had faith, trust and confidence in God, even so small like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, 
be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea and it would obey you. So the disciples are thinking we need a lot of faith. And many of us sometimes we look at that, we look at the situations that face us, we look at the challenges that come our way, we, we look at, uh, you know, our lack of maybe legal papers, maybe immigration situations, maybe it is financial challenges, maybe it is academic bills that are piling up, tuition fees, medical conditions, medical expenses, and we feel like we need a lot of faith. But Jesus says, if you just have a little faith, I will work with it. I work with it. Which means then, if we are not pushing forward, it could be an issue of not having faith, but maybe wavering faith. Because wavering faith is doubting faith. All you need is to have a faith that refuses to doubt. You don't need to have such a large faith. But begin small. So, it's time to say, Lord, Whatever level of faith I am, take me to another level. Shift my faith level. All of us, we need some faith shiftings in life. And we will delve more into these things as the year goes on. But I believe, beloved, that these are going to be critical this year. Number three. So number one, become a God chaser. Number two, increase your faith. Number three, Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do exploits. Challenge yourself to do exploits. Do that which was seemingly impossible. Determined to go beyond what you have ever done. The Bible says those that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Take risks. Divine risks. Challenge yourself. Why should you challenge yourself? Because Philippians chapter 4 verse number 13 tells us something. What does Philippians 4 tell us? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do some things. I can do a few things. Thank you for those that are silent. You will watch those of us that are declaring at the end of the year. Give testimonies. You see, the, the key is to believe it. The key is to believe it. What you don't believe will never manifest for you. See, many times we look and we say, well, it is all right for that one, but for me. We believe it a lot for others, but we don't. We believe God is capable, but we don't believe that it can happen to us. I stand here and declare that whatever I believe must happen. Amen. As long as I challenge myself, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Christ is your strength. You heard something powerful today. This woman of God says, service is starting at 9.30. I begin preparing myself at 6. Because I can do all things. Even this, this leg says left. Uh -uh. This leg says right. No, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Beloved, it is time to make some radical shifts in 2023. Yes. It is only those that dare to believe it that will cross over. Amen. I'm telling you, beloved. It is easy sometimes when we speak like this, it just sounds like motivation or talk, but this is a spiritual dimension. This is a spiritual dimension, beloved. And I speak this with all confidence that God is going to do something in that person's life that believes it. Challenge yourself. It is your season for exploits. It is your season to be strong and do exploits. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The last thing I'll share with you today, and we'll be done for today, is, so number one, what was number one? Number two? Number three? Number four, take a stand for your faith. 
Take a stand for your faith or stand your ground. And this is important, beloved. Your circle of influence must know where you stand with God. We are living in a season and a generation where the love of many is growing cold in these last days. Understanding is key. Take a stand for your faith. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse number 13. 1 Corinthians 16 and verse number 13 in the NIV. In the NIV. The Bible reads, do we have NIV? The Bible reads, let's read together. Be on your Okay, we're going to do this because I'm not hearing certain sections. So, this section, you're going to read the first part. Be on your And here will be And here And here Oh, we're going to do it again. Uh-huh. So, we are taking a stand. We are standing our ground. Uh-huh. Let's go. Amen. So, this year, take a stand. Be on your guard. Why? For your adversary. The enemy, he roars around like a lion, seeking those to devour. He's not a lion, but he roars around like a lion, finding, he's just a dog going, whoop, 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 big dog, thinking like it's a lion. Those that run, ah, this one's my meat. And he locates you. But when you take a stand, He's not a lion. So he will roar and the lion of Judah in you will roar back. Beloved, I'm telling you, these are dynamics of the kingdom. These are dynamics of the kingdom. Be stand firm in the faith. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. There is a reason God came to Joshua. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, you be strong. You be courageous. Why? Because you are going to take my people to their promised land. There was an impossible situation. The Jordan needed to be parted. Egyptians are coming. The Jordan, was it the Jordan? Oh, the, the Red Cross. Oh, whatever. Red Sea. Red Sea was ahead of Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Red Sea. See, the principle there is that you could be faced with impossible situations. There are some of you in this room and some of you listening online or maybe you watch later. You don't know which way to turn. Ahead things are rough. Behind things are rough. The prophetic promises you've been holding on to, they are tired. They need a refresher. You don't even want any prayers anymore. Because nothing seems to be working. You have a Red Sea ahead of you. You have an Egyptian army behind you. But God says, be strong. Be courageous. For you will surely possess the land. You will surely cross over. I don't know who I came to encourage today that this year is your year. Amen. This year is your year. Amen. Only take a stand. In, in, in Ephesians chapter 6, I believe it's verse number 10, the Bible says, stand therefore. Stand therefore. Having done all, stand. Ephesians 6 verse number 10. Stand therefore. Hallelujah. Let's read it together. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Verse 12. For we do not... Okay. 
I think we can. In the heavenly places. Amen. They put the yeah, they put those they put really big letters now I couldn't read. <laughs> so stand, take a stand. Amen. Verse number eleven. Stand. stand. Come on. Turn to somebody and tell them stand. Stand, stand against the schemes, beloved, Amen. of the devil. Stand your ground. First Timothy chapter six. First Timothy six verse twelve. First Timothy six. Verse number 12. Let's read together. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Stand your ground, beloved. Stand your ground. It is very, very, very important. Take a stand for your faith. People will try to confuse you. They will try to push you away. But you know whom you have believed on. You know whom you have believed in. Be strong in the Lord. It is even better to lose your friends than to lose God. The Bible says one with God is more than any number without God. Be strong for the Lord. So number one, become a God chaser. Number two, increase your faith. Number three, challenge yourself to do exploits and take a stand for your faith. Beloved, as we go into 2023, believe the word of divine possibilities in your life. What seems impossible to man will be made supernaturally possible for you. Amen. Only believe it. Amen. Take obedient action. Stand your ground and let God lead you. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. <laughs> so we will continue on this later today. For now, we are going to get our declarations for 2023. Amen. amen. So I invite you to stand. We'll have our declarations for 2023. 23. So put that, beloved, in your spirit, in your heart, in your mind, that in 2023, in my year of divine possibilities, I will become a God chaser. What will you do next? I will increase my faith. No, oh, they, they put them up for you. Okay. I'll challenge myself to do exploits. I'll take a stand for my faith. Challenge yourself academically, spiritually. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself personally, in your career, in your relationships. Challenge yourself. You know, learn a few languages. Challenge yourself. I'll improve my cooking skills this year. You know, challenge yourself. Burn a few things and then, you know, <laughs> challenge yourself. I'm telling you. You know, I, 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 I got tired of asking people to cook me, make me some things. So I said, I'm going to challenge myself and make it myself. But I keep burning them, you know, the, the, the fritters, the tumbua. The one minute I put too much heat, another minute is so low. But I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, for you, it may be a small thing. You probably do it in your night. Listen, beloved, what is easy for one person may be so hard for another. Okay? So, wh wherever you are and whatever you are believing God for, start there. Even if some, you know, sometimes people will laugh at you and they'll say, oh, you mean you're struggling with this? I don't know if you, have you ever sat with geniuses in class and uh, you are struggling with two plus two and, and, and they, they, they even go to sleep on it. Is, is that what you're struggling with? You know, but it doesn't matter. It is your season of divine possibilities. And so we're going to go through declarations. Hallelujah. 
and uh, they will put them up for us. And uh, I'm just trying to pull them up myself. All right, so we have seven declarations. The last two are always the same. They don't change. So number one, so it's up on the screen. Let's read it together. Lord, thank you for bringing me into my season of divine possibilities. By faith, I receive divine wisdom and spiritual understanding for the season of my life. So let's stay right there for a minute. Let's, let's declare it again and then pray over it. Pray over it. Amen. Lord, thank you for bringing me into my season of divine possibilities. By faith, I receive divine wisdom and spiritual understanding for the season of my life. Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray over it. Father, I thank you for the season of divine possibilities. I thank you, oh God, for where you have brought me from. Thank you, oh God, for this year that I have entered, oh God. My Father, my God, divine wisdom, divine wisdom and spiritual understanding is my portion in the season, oh God. My Father, my God, I pray. Oh, karebo sikalia makulama seketeli mandolaba kelia makeliba sot. I pray, Lord, that I'll be filled, oh God, with your wisdom, oh God. I'll be filled Filled, almighty God, with spiritual understanding in the season of my life, oh God. I thank you for the season of divine possibilities. Wisdom that is profitable to direct, oh God. And in all my getting of wisdom, Lord, I pray for understanding. My Father, my God, I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Number two, in 2023, I'm walking in increased measure of faith, accessing every possibility of God for my life as everything that fights my faith is uprooted in Jesus' name. In 2023, I'm walking in an increased measure of faith, accessing every possibility of God for my life as everything that fights my faith is uprooted in Jesus' name. Because, beloved, the key to possibilities is your faith. So everything that fights your faith, let begin to pray. Begin to pray. Let everything that fights your faith be uprooted this year, 2023. Everything, Lord, that fights my faith, everything that fights the faith of Agape, be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. This year, almighty God, we speak and declare that we are walking in increased measure of faith. We increase measure of faith, increase measure of faith, increase measure of faith, increase measure of faith. Every possibility of God for our life is being accessed in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Rabosa. Kerimandurubush. Makabakalia. Leketenderebus, Mekataliba, Makorabush, Makatilebu. Beloved, Makatolaba, as we pray over this, as we pray over this, I'm sensing in my spirit that we need to be violent. Because you see, faith, everything that fights your faith is what causes limitation in our lives. But when faith is weak, when faith is broken, we cannot go through. Fear, discouragement, disappointment, Doubt. These are things that fight your faith. Oh, karebo shika. But take another minute. Let's deal with the things that fight our faith. Oh, pray in the spirit. Pray in your understanding. Manerebo shika. Deketerebo seketele babarabo shap. Reketendelebo shika. Every faith stealer. Everything that steals our faith. Be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Be uprooted 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear, doubt, disappointment, discouragement. We uproot you in the mighty name of Jesus. We will access every possibility all that God has for us. We will enter every door that God has for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will cross over into every new season in the mighty name of Jesus. Arabo shekeria mandorobose mekare makura mandekeria lokotoliba in 2023. Healthy faith, healthy faith is our portion. Healthy faith is our portion. Healthy faith is our portion. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Number three, pray over these declarations. Declare it and pray over them every day, every time over your life, beloved. Not just on January 1, but let it be a lifestyle. Declaring these things. Number three, let's read together. By the blood of Jesus and the power of his name, I break every wall of limitation that has been placed on my life and family. Every ceiling over my spiritual, academic, professional, and personal life is broken this year. Listen, beloved. There are, there are things, there are altars that speak in people's lives. That place ceilings. Those ceilings are not placed by God. Every altar that has spoken over your life and put ceilings as to where you can go. You know, there are some families, they can never reach a certain age, they all die. Some families can never go beyond a certain level of education. Some families, they have their limitations that have been placed. They can never amass great wealth. Some families, divorce runs rampant. Every ceiling of limitation. In some families, it is a miracle for marriage to happen. Let every limitation, every ceiling be broken. Every ceiling over your life be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Begin to pray with passion. By the blood of Jesus and the power of the name of Jesus, I break every wall of limitation. Every wall of limitation that has been placed on my life, that has been placed on my family, I break it in the name of Jesus. Every wall of limitation over agape be broken. Every ceiling over this family of agape, over my personal family, over my extended family, be uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus, every ceiling of limitation over my spiritual life is broken today. In the mighty name of Jesus, this year, every academic, professional, and personal life, Makarabo Shata will proceed forward in enter divine possibilities. Every ceiling over businesses in Agape is broken in the name of Jesus. Every ceiling, Mekerebo Sekelebaha, Manderebo Soko Telebaha, Reketelebara Kondolobo Sekeliaba, Lekete Ribakaria Mamandorobos, Marako Tolebaha, Reketenderebaba, every joy stealer, every limitation to the joy of the Lord, Makabo Sheketeleba, broken in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Ekerebaha, Manderebo Sheketeleba, Reketelebaha. Limitation of addiction be broken in the name of Jesus. Eka mando rama ha, rekete rimanda reka ha, shekete lima ha talia ha, rokata lia mando rokata ndehe, ma rekota ndeke mrako zeka, rekete riba break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus, break, break. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic limitation, every natural limitation, every limitation, every self-induced setback, every self-induced limitation be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If it has never happened before in my family, it will start with me. It will start with me. I will break through. I will break through. Agape will break through. Agape will break through. In the name of Jesus. You will break through. You will be the first to buy a home. You will be the first to graduate. You will have your legal papers. Every 
Makamando rokate. Jekete ne kambrose. Likete liamande. Immigration, immigration. Akatelebo. I hear the word immigration. Mande reboshe. Rekete ne reboshe. Kete le bahap. Yekete le bahap. Every ceiling over your life caused by immigration blockage, caused by immigration challenge, broken this year, broken this year in the name of Jesus, broken this year in the name of Jesus, broken this year in the name of Jesus. Financial limitations break in the name of Jesus. The possibilities of God, the possibilities of God. Ah, for with God, nothing, nothing shall be impossible. This year there is deliverance, deliverance for families, deliverance for families, deliverance for families, deliverance for families. Men nerebo seketere bahap, reketere yababarabo seketende bahap, rima mama mama mandohe, yetere bahap, reketende bahap. I see a loosening of the mind, a loosening of the mind. Things that have held the mind in captivity, being lost in the name of Jesus, being lost in the name of Jesus, being lost in the name of Jesus. For we are the architect of our destinies. You are the architect of your destiny. Pray with passion. Pray with passion. Let every limitation be broken. Let every wall of limitation be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Mande reko sheka tele baha, reke tende reba seka tali baha, reke tene yamande reka toli baha, eke tende rebo sheke tende rebo se, lima neka moka mbrose, eke tene yababara bo se. By the blood of Jesus and the power of the name of Jesus, every bond of limitation is broken in the name of Jesus. Every bond of limitation. This year is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Man nere bo sheka ba 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 ba. Man nere bere 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 bush. Re bere 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 bush. Makabo sakata la ba ba ba. Man nere bush. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Are you tired of praying? Are you tired of praying? We need to pray, 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 pray. You, you are just beginning the year. You are just beginning the year. Challenges that will come ahead, we deal with them right now in the spirit. Number four. Let's go. Lord, as I submit to your will, empower me by your Holy Spirit for exploits so that my manner of life will glorify your name. And turn many to righteousness. Let's pray that point. Let's pray that point. Lord, as I submit to your will, empower us, Lord, by your Holy Spirit. Empower us, Lord, for exploits. Empower us, oh God, that our manner of life, Lord, will glorify you. Father, that my manner of life will bring glory to your name. My manner of life, Lord, will turn many to righteousness. Yes, almighty God. Oh, as I submit to your will, this year, oh God, empower me at another level by your Holy Spirit. By your Holy Spirit, empower me for exploits. Yes, almighty God. For you have said, greater works I will do because you go to the Father. Teach me, Lord, to submit wholly to you, O oh God, as I become a God chaser, O oh God, in this year. Holy Spirit, divide possibilities. Be my portion. Exploits, oh God, in this ministry, in families, the youth, the young adults, oh God, empower Agape for exploits all over the world, oh God, wherever Agape is planted, empower us, oh God, for exploits. Our manner of life, oh God, will bring glory to your name. Ah, Rebo Sakandere Baha. The youth of God will bring glory to your name. The young adults will bring glory to your name. The adults will bring glory to your name. Ah, Rebo Seka Baba Barabusha. Oh, Makarebo Seka. Mene Rebe Bebe Bush. Reba Baba Barako Toli Baba Baba. Mareke Tele Baha. 
Empower us, Lord. Empower us, Lord. Empower Agape, Lord. Empower us, O oh God. Empower every family, O oh God. Empower every individual for exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Number five. This is just a declaration here. Let's go. I am blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Let's go again. I am blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Pray this prayer over this. Lord, open my eyes to see the blessings that you have blessed me with in this year of divine possibilities. In Jesus' name, amen. Number six. Your word, O oh Lord, is ever changing me, making me complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Pray that prayer that Lord cause your word to change me. Cause your word, Lord, to thoroughly equip me for every good work. Take a minute and just pray. Take a minute and just pray. Oh Lord, oh Lord, change me, Lord. Let your word, oh God, transform me. Let your word, oh God, bring revelation in my life. Let your word, O oh God, thoroughly equip me for every good work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For by your word, Lord, by your word, O oh God, by your word I am complete. By your word I am complete. By your word I am equipped. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And our last declaration. Number seven. Let's declare it with power. I am an agent of change. One more time. I am an agent of change. We're going to do this five more times. I am an agent of change. Number four. I am an agent of change. Number five, I am an agent of change. Number six, I am an agent of change. For the last time, I am an agent of change. Hallelujah. 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 Take a minute and begin to thank the Lord for this year 2023. Begin to talk to God. Take a minute and thank God that he has brought you into a new season. Thank God that the possibilities of God are yours. Thank God that there is nothing impossible in God. The woman with the issue of blood, it was 12 years, but she got her healing. Lazarus was dead and stinking in the tomb, but he woke up. Yes, there is nothing impossible for God. Whatever you are going through, it is not impossible with God. With God, with God, with God, all things are possible. Thank God that this year, this year you are stepping into higher realms of possibilities. Yes, 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 yes. Declare it. Declare it. This year your business is expanding like you never thought before. This year your academic levels are shifting. This year your relationships are changing. Ah, Makalebo, talk to God. Talk to God. Thank God. Thank God. This year. Yes, even your bank account will know that you have entered your season of divine possibilities. Makabo What was impossible before will become possible this year. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for divine possibilities in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray a prayer. This last prayer. Pray for the church. Let's pray for the church. Let's pray for Agape worldwide. Let's pray for every affiliate. Let's pray for every church represented. 
let's just pray that God, that divine possibilities, pray for arise and build, that the spirit of divine possibilities will overtake it, will overtake it. Pray, pray that agape will expand our walls. Agape will expand. Yes, it will be a church of influence in the communities we serve and live in. Lift up that voice and pray. Lift up that voice and pray. Lift up that voice and pray that this year many more righteousness, many more people will come to know the Lord all over the world, all over the world. That it will be double the baptisms, the 115, 120 baptisms, double, 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 double in the name of Jesus, double in the name of Jesus, double in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the church. We pray for Agape Ministries. We pray, Lord, for every possibility that you have laid out for us. That we will step in, oh God. We will walk in, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for every family connected to Agape. Every family in this church, oh God. Every affiliate, oh God. Every member. We pray, Father, that in the name of Jesus, there will be none left behind, oh God. For a rising tide raises all ships, oh God. That as you lift us up, oh God, every family will be lifted. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We magnify your name. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are confident of this year? Amen. It doesn't matter your present circumstance. The God of divine possibilities has entered. Has entered. Begin to rejoice.